PS5 motherboard. Let me show you what's going on. Today we'll be changing the encoder on this PS5 board. That is not putting any video out and it is not the HDMI port that is causing the problem. So we believe it's the encoder. That will be our job today. First thing I need to do is with my T8280 preheat the board. We're going to add some flux around the chip and then we'll just watch for it to melt. We'll be at 150 degrees. If I have any problems with pulling the chip, I will bump it up to 170. I believe we're just about ready to remove it. The flux has liquefied. Let me throw up my temperatures. These temperatures are brought to you by the Amazon associate links in the description. If you head to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, or if you buy anything during that session, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It won't cost you an extra dime. Let's go about removing this thing. These boards do take quite a bit of heat. We may have to up our preheat. I'm actually going to do that. We're going to raise up to 170. Let's give this another go. I just didn't like how slow things were going. There we go. We got it and we didn't nudge any parts. Excellent. I'm going to hot swap this guy back on here. New one. Uh, Reflow him while it's still hot. Lop her down carefully. Settle in, move the heat, let it dry a little bit, press down, not too hard. Move the heat, and hopefully we are in place. I hope this video is being helpful to you in your repair journey. Just a reminder, if this is something beyond what you want to try yourself, I do offer these services. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, fill out the form, and I'll get back to you personally. That alignment looks pretty freaking good. Again, looking real good. Excellent. Couldn't be happier with how the preheater works. Nice and clean method. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and check this one out and I'll see you there.